Hey YouTube, I'm back with another review. Uh, this one is on a The Force Awakens set, the First Order Snowspeeder, age recommendation 8 to 14, set number 75100. 444 pieces, this was $40 back in, I think, 2015 when it came out, uh, coinciding with the release of The Force Awakens and the uh, restart of Star Wars. Um, this set, unfortunately, is based on a model that never appeared in the movie, uh, so it was not very popular. I think it's only from a deleted scene. Um, but uh, there's a good piece count, good price per piece ratio, and this was actually at like 50% off in a lot of places, which is when I got it. Uh, I think my parents got it for me uh, for like 20 bucks, brand new. So um, let's start off with the minifigures here. Uh, you get three snow troopers from the first order. And uh, they're actually really great figures, uh, lots of detailing. Uh, you can see you've got a first order snowtrooper officer here, and um, he's the same as the other guys, except he has a red pauldron, which is really nice. And uh, by the way, they all have angry clone face, um, even though they're not clones. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's the helmet for all these guys. It's all the same from what I can tell. Maybe there's a little detail I'm missing, but um, yeah, they also all include the, uh, I think they're all, they're not called commas, but they're waist capes. Anyway, cloth waist capes, which I know have been a big issue lately at the end of 2022, uh, now that Lego's printing on waist capes. Um, this is a great way to get a few if you want them for snow troopers or whatever. These guys probably, I would imagine, aren't super expensive because they're not very desirable in my opinion. Uh, but this guy comes with a blaster pistol with a white lightsaber handle extension. I don't know if that's like a silencer or what, but uh, that's interesting for sure. Um, and they all come with these little backpacks, which are just the uh, minifigure clip piece here, which I'm imagining that's a little bent. So I'm imagining that's broken. Um, stress crack over time. Uh, but they've got this little printed one by one tile, which is nice. And you got two of these guys, which are pretty much identical to the other guy, minus the pauldron. Um, and they include medium regular blasters. Um, but yeah, that's the minifigures. I think they're pretty great. Um, they're massable. Um, and you know, you can see they've got hip printing, which is really uh, rare. Leg printing, hip printing, back printing, um, you know, good printing overall. Kind of plain, but still detailed. And they have even got metallic printing there on the mask, uh, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, let's get onto the set now. Okay, so here's your set. Um, it's kind of like a little boat almost, um, but it's a snow speeder, so it flies around on the snow, but it doesn't go up high like the Rebel snow speeders that we're used to. Um, so it's more like a snow speeder um, in the sense of like Luke's land speeder, uh, where it just hovers. Um, so here at the front, you've got this vent here, uh, heat grill thing. You got some kind of like uh, scopes or some kind of. Um, you know, measuring something there. I don't think they're supposed to be guns, but you know, you definitely can use them as guns. But up front, you've got this turret, uh, which moves up and down like that, but not side to side, which is kind of unfortunate. It's kind of a unique, cool connection there, two hinges. Um, but it's a white and black theme, just like the first order. Um, you got stickers right here and here, they're mirrored. Um, they're pretty nice, um, generic. You could use them on any kind of mock. Um, but up here, you know, you've got this whole area up front, you've got a figure here, and you've got a storage area here, um, which has these three crates, which you can just store the uh, studs for the stud shooter cannon, six, six shooter cannon. Um, you can store those in there. You've got two clips for weapons. Um, and then down to the side here, you've got this sticker here, which is the same on the other side. And then this sticker here is the same on the other side, or pretty much the same. And you got these two engine pods in the back, um, right next to where the pilots and just uh, passenger sits. Um, but you know, you got these six, I think you can twist this? No, I think you uh, move it like, I don't remember how this works. Oh yeah, there it is. So you twist this and there you can see the thing activating there. And I'll show you because, I don't think these are very common anymore, but I'll show you how that works with the studs. Um, you got another clip here for a weapon and you got a control panel that's printed. Uh, you got some seats for two uh, of your snow troopers. On the back here, you got another grill and uh, very similar to the front one. 
Um, but yeah, that's that. And then how this kind of, you can see here, it slides along uh, very smoothly, low friction. Underneath is all the Technic and you got these uh, four clear wheel kind of uh, gear type pieces. Um, so that's how that slides along. Uh, so good. And uh, I'll show you now what it looks like with the minifigures and the stud shooting feature. So here's what we look like uh, when we're all loaded up with studs. You know, you got your stud shooter up there on your cannon uh, turret area, and then you got your stud six stud shooter on your side. Uh, you got another one over there. But uh, I'll show you how that works. You're just gonna twist this piece back here, uh, either direction, I think, uh, but I'll turn it uh, clockwise, and uh, you'll see these studs shoot off. I'll shoot them at the box, but see, I'll twist this. You'll hear it, but yeah, you can see that launch pretty good. And there you go, that's all six. Um, and then here's what your figures look like. They sit back pretty far there in the seats. Um, you can uh, see that there. It's a very spacious area back there. And then up front here, there's your gunner. Um, but uh, yeah, here's your instruction manual. It's kind of one of the square ones, um, pretty thick. Uh, you know, here's the other sets of that era, those original. Uh, Force Awakens sets, I imagine, you know, most of these were pretty unpopular when they came out. And, uh, but the prequel sets were the same way when they came out, and now they're worth hundreds of dollars each sealed. So, you know, who knows, 10 years from now, these sets might be worth tons of money, people who don't like them at the time, um, right now, and even years ago, uh, might really regret not picking them up. Uh, I'm kind of... Uh, sad that I didn't pick up more of them just because uh, I do think the First Order Stormtroopers do look pretty cool. Um, here's your box. Let's see what's on the back here. You got this cool hologram blueprint kind of thing. Um, that's pretty nice. There's your uh, weapons kind of glowing. Uh, there's all your action features. Um, but yeah, and there's your uh, Starkiller base in the background. Oh uh, yeah, great set for $20. This was obviously a uh, no-brainer to pick up. And, um, you know, not anything I wanted, but my parents got it for me back when I was, you know, uh, senior in high school. So, um, yeah, this was a great set. I would uh, not recommend picking it up. Um, you know, I don't really care about this set. You might, but uh, <laughs> I'll see you in the next review. So, bye.